I just want to start this video out by saying this is not a how-to video at all. I've never built a turbo system before, but I just wanted to make some videos of me trying to do that. I mean, I am going to do everything I can to make a system that actually works, but like I said, I've never done this before, so don't don't copy this or anything. Or... All right, so here's my 305. It hasn't been built. doesn't have the crank or nothing in it. It's just the block. I got these up and forward headers, and what I'm going to do is try to build a turbo kit. I have this flange right here. Ooh, look how smooth it goes in there. All right, so the goal is to mount the turbo about right here where both of these pipes are going to go into these two, uh, into this flange, and the turbo is going to mount up like that. It's going to mount about right here. So what I got here is a piece of quarter inch steel, and I'm going to shape it like that kind of. And then I have this bracket. I'm going to bolt it right here to this, to the water pump, right in, right, right in front of the, uh, right in front of the bracket for the alternator. So what it's going to end up doing, it's going to end up bolting like this, and then this is going to be, this, I'm going to cut this off somehow like there, and somehow I'm going to weld this together. Of course I'm going to have to put some kind of gussets on it or something, but that's the general idea. So we're going to start out by making a cardboard CAD drawing. I'll be back whenever I get that done. All right, after a few minutes of fitting this, see how that fits in there real nicely? Goes all the way to the end. You could even see my circles. All I did was push on it. Here goes a piece of quarter inch steel. I just traced it out right there. And then on my other bracket, I figured out that I'm going to cut it here and here to trim it up to, to start out with. I'm going to have to trim it up more than that, but that's where I'm going to start out. All I'm going to do is use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and, of course, face mask, face shield, whatever you want to call it. All right, after grinding a little bit, I got my, I got my bracket made. Nice radius corners. Oh, that's not even flat. Anyway, I guess because the angles, it happens to fit better like this. It goes down a little further. So, now I'm going to go to the back of it. Now, now I got my marks to drill holes. Center punch. Center punch. So now what I got to do is figure out how to bolt this right here and weld this on to hold the turbo. <laughs> and welding this bracket on, that's really stupid. I, I, I got to figure something out how to make that work. Anyway, there goes my bracket. I'll be back whenever I got this figured out and it's ready to weld it. But I figured that I would just just uh, weld it right here. I get about an inch of weld on both sides, and that should that should be enough to hold that turbo up. You know, because the pipes are going to hold it up a little bit too, at least. And then then I could I could actually mount the turbo. Like I said, it's probably temporary. I'll probably cut it off and make a bed, make something stronger. Maybe all out a quarter inch. But then again, you know how some stuff that's supposed to be uh, temporary turns permanent? 
I, I don't know. I just I just see how it feels, how much it moves around, and judge it by that. <laughs> Look at this old crusty, crusty uh, filter wire. A little bit too crusty. Oh no, I set my machine to 124 amps. Uh, hopefully I can make a decent weld. Okay, so I got my bracket welded up. Two crappy welds. It should hold. I mean, it's only 38 pounds. Could probably use a little bit longer bolts. All right, so this is where I'm at. I need bolts. Th these are threaded holes that I have to use them. I just have these bolts in there just to kind of hold it in place. So the idea is that that bracket I made is gonna hold my turbo in place while I do the pipes. This is gonna sit about right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a pipe with the V-band that just goes straight into each one of these. And on the bend, on the 90 degree, that's where I'm going to put my blow-off valves. It's going to have one on both sides. You know, this is going to sit back a little bit. This is actually probably a really bad idea because it makes your turbo stick way too far forward and the radiator is going to have to be moved. But I'm going to have to stop right here to go get some bolts. Another reason I wanted to make this video is to show people that a normal person that really doesn't have experience can actually do this. You know, I, it was, it was a, maybe like a couple of years ago I bought my first TIG welding machine. And since then, I kind of, off of YouTube, self-taught myself how to do aluminum. I know it's not that great, but, you know, I think, I think it'd be good enough for this. I've been practicing on some stainless. You know, really not that great either. Also, I noticed that everybody on YouTube, all the all the good fabricator guys that, that do stainless, they always use a giant cup. So I did order a number 12 uh, Furic cup and a gas lens kit because, like the this is a, this is a seven a CK 17 torch, and I'm pretty sure this is a number eight cup and. It's just too small. It, I think it just doesn't give good, uh, good enough gas coverage. And on my next video, whenever I, whenever I start doing the pipes, you know, I'll do a comparison on welding with this versus my new uh, number 12 Furet Cup that's going to come in the mail pretty soon. So yeah, this bracket is somewhat temporary, but it might end up being permanent because it, it does add a lot, of, you know, add a lot of stability to the turbo, especially like once you put the pipes on it. You know, it'd probably be pretty rigid. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it actually can flex side to side a little bit. I kind of did that on purpose. I wanted it, you know, the, the bracket to be just a thin piece of sheet that, that sticks up that can hold a lot of weight but kind of move like it does. Like it. And that's the part I'm talking about why not to copy this and, and, and why this is just for entertainment purposes. It's not a how to because I don't know how the exhaust is going to move when it gets hot. Um, the bracket might cause it to break. I don't. I really don't know what it's going to do. So you know. So I'm kind of worried about that. But there's only one way to find out. Is just to go ahead and do it. You know. It might fail. It might not. Who really cares? 
Um, the only thing to do is to learn, you know, do it, learn from your mistakes, and then someday I'll probably be able to build some pretty good turbo kits. Anyway, so that's what's been going on in the garage. Uh, I'm still trying to save up money to actually build this engine. Anyway, if you found this video uh, entertaining, please like and subscribe the end.